Hello YouTube, this is Sam Gerens from QuarterNight.com. Today is Monday the 25th of November 2019 and uh, I'm still in uh, sunny Chelyabinsk having this uh, work done. Um, I'm going to be here for another, uh, to the end of this week and on Monday I should be back uh, back at home. So uh, a lot of time being, uh, <laughs> having electric currents pass through various nerve centers and uh, for eight hours at a time. So it's, uh, <laughs> but it really does, it really does help. And my back and my neck and all that feels, you know, there's just no comparison. I can actually walk without pain now and stand and work without pain, which is because I do most of my work standing up. Um, which is going to make a big difference. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to do is just get some thoughts down because um, to do with the the name of God, and um, I don't normally respond to you know stuff that's going around, but something I came across and and is going around at the same time is to, to is a criticism of the Quran, um, and 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 what I call brand Islam, uh, made by. Uh, either atheists or, or other people and it's to do with the fact that why does the Quran not have uh, why does it have Allah um, whereas in the um, in the Tanakh we have uh, Elohim and we have as they claim uh, Yehovah or Yahweh or whatever so these are just my thoughts on it now the criticism goes something like this um, in the in the Hebrew Tanakh in the Hebrew uh, Bible, we have whatever it is, 7,000 instances of the name of God. Um, Muhammad is then claimed uh, that he didn't know this. He didn't, you know, he wasn't able to pick up on this as he was, as it were, quote unquote, uh, copying or stealing or appropriating these stories uh, to put into his book. And uh, what a fool he must have been because, you know, the Jews and the Christians must have been using these names. And he just heard the name Allah, which you know, it was the Arabic sort of nomenclature and thought that this was the name of God and merrily put this into his book and got it all wrong. That's basically the outline. So these are my thoughts on it. The first thing is, and, and this is a claim made by the, the, critis, the critics of the Quran, um, they will say, if you ask any Muslim what's the name of God, they'll tell you, well, it's Allah. And in in this point, they are correct. If you will, if you do ask, you know, certainly the majority of Muslims what the name of God is, they'll say, well, it's you know, it's it's Allah. Well, I, I would disagree with that. I, I don't think that's the case. Um, Allah is not a name. It's not a name. It's a it's 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 a title. Um, I mean, the noun is ilah, which is God, and then there's Al, which is or El, which is the the uh, definite article, and that contracts into Allah, which is the the God. That's technically what it means. I mean, that is literally what it means. And obviously, we don't say the God in English, and so we we truncate it to to God, um, which is kind of both, which is where we, where you get into this sort of sticky area, because God is both, I suppose, a, a name, it, albeit in a, in a general form, but it's also a title. Um, we can't say the God in English uh, w w without it meaning something other than what we mean when we say God, so we're stuck with what we're stuck with. However, what's correct is, is that um, in Arabic, in the Qur'an, um, there is no name given to God. There are attributes given to God and there is the title, the God. In the same way as you could say the king, El Malik. You know, he's the king. El Malik is not his name. Uh, 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 the king is his title. His name may be, you know, whatever it is. Robert Louis, Robert Louis Stevenson or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> but but the, the actual name, the king, is... The, the definite designation of a particular um, position, title, post, or, or um, uh, you know something along those lines, um, profession, you could say. In the in terms of God, this is exactly what you find in the Quran. So that's the first point. So in in some way, this criticism is uh, is correct. 
um, except that, it, well, it's, it has a basis that when you analyse it is actually useful. What it's correct in is that most Muslims would claim that Allah is the name of God. Um, I don't agree with that. I don't. It, it, that's not correct. Um, it's it's a title. It's like um, the king in Surah 12 uh, is called the king. Uh, no one, nobody is claiming that it's his name. Um, what we do have in the Quran is the the, the God, and having certain attributes, Ar Rahman. Rahim, you know, and all the other attributes that we have in the Quran. But the Quran does not give us uh, the name, you know, as it were, the personal name of the Most High God. It gives us his position, uh, you know, his status, and it gives his attributes. And so, to, to that extent, this um, this criticism is, is, is warranted, as, especially as uh, Muslims tend to make this mistake, to to present the name of God as Allah, and I've always uh, had a just an intuitive uh, repugnance to this, where this is imported into other languages, into English. So you have English speakers walking around speaking native English, but when they're going to use the name of when they're going to you know, refer to God, instead of just using the word which we have in English, which is God, they'll you know break out into you know Allah and what you end up with is you end up with a, a tribal God you end up with a tribal God now what's interesting is that actually this is the very thing which the use of Allah uh, circumnavigates it it precludes this absolutely because it's not a tribal name of a God it is the statement of fact the God the one God that God the God that's what we're talking about and God the God in a, you know as to take it as literally in from the Arabic has these various attributes and nowhere in the Quran do we find these various um, guesses now it brings me to the next point of the name of God in, in, in the Tanakh which is another reason why it's interesting that the, the Quran doesn't use these this name now the name of uh, as advanced by uh, Torah observant Jews we have to understand that the Torah observant Jews stopped using the name of God now if you look in if you look in a, a, a Hebrew Tanakh you'll see uh, the tetragrammaton but nobody really knows which which is what gets rendered into actually gets rendered into English as Lord capital L small capital O small capital R small capital D um, when when this is being read by readers of the Hebrew these letters are pointed um, in order to comport with the, the sort of the the replacement word Adonai so the actual pointing for this word is not known so what the Quran does is completely not use that so there is no way that this, that this is sort of trying to pick up on the coattails of, of a, a previous guess or lost understanding of what the name of God is, the, the Quran interestingly completely ignores it. I mean, you can imagine what would happen if the Quran had contained uh, this, uh, this word um, and then everyone could turn around and say, oh, well, you know, he got it wrong. Didn't get it wrong, didn't use it. And what's interesting also is that following on from the Old Testament, what we call the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures, the Tanakh, yeah, we have what you know, is called the New Testament. Well, the New Testament nowhere uses this word. Nowhere do you find the word Yehovah or um, uh, Elohim um, because the whole thing was written in Greek. And anyway, the, the word generally used in the, in the New Testament is uh, the Lord, uh, uh, God, the Father, um, is this kind of terminology so what's actually happened is there's a moving away over time from any use of these words which anyway have been lost they've been lost and the Quran doesn't use them and the, what the Quran does is keep it um, a, a statement of God's status of God's um, position as God and then describe his various attributes and completely elides the uh, use and the, uh, the lost use uh, 
of uh, the, the Hebrews um, of the name that they once had and now have lost. So for me, it's I don't even see the criticism as relevant. I see it as actually a, a confirmation that the, the revelation given to Muhammad did not fall into the trap, as it were, or didn't uh, you know didn't go down that road because there was there was no need for it, and also by sticking with Allah which is the God it em emphasizes the universal application of this uh, in, in our awareness of God that it's not an Arab God it's not a name like El, uh, or, you know let's suppose it's you know Jehovah or Yahweh it's neither of those it's the God and everybody knows in their heart of hearts who the God is <laughs> and what the Quran provides is the uh, the, the sort of um, identification of that uh, position and then descriptions of that majesty m without any of the uh, sort of tribal um, and, and frankly mumbled and lost um, uh, guesses as to what his personal you know first name may or may not have been so to me i just i find that a, 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 another reason why i believe in the quran and certainly not a, a reason n not to believe in it so i was just going to share those thoughts um i should be back at home god willing um, on monday i uh, hope everyone's well and uh and uh, yeah leave your comments down below bye for now if you're listening on YouTube, you can download my full translation of the Qur'an free using the button in the top right hand corner or buy the hard copy there at 10% less than on Amazon. I also encourage you to sign up for the Quranite Plus newsletter on the site to get occasional micro updates. You can download the audio from my YouTube videos to your mobile device using the links in the drop down below. I recommend meetquranites.com to connect with other Qur'an alone believers. Like if you like, comment if you have something constructive to say, and subscribe to get more each week. And use the link in the drop down below to donate if you would like to help me keep doing this. And remember, this life is short, eternity is long. If you want good trees, plant good seeds.